Hi everyone, welcome to Do Daily. Monday motivation, Des here. Looking to attack the week with the usual dose of activity, but also with plenty of positivity and enthusiasm for what lies ahead. It's been another real busy weekend. I'll come back to that shortly, but I'll start by letting you know where I am. It's actually the usual spot. You'll generally find me here on a Monday trying to get in a walk, especially when I'm trying to ease in with activity to build those endorphins, to build on any positive spirit that's lingering from last week, from the weekend, to get out there, get some fresh air, and feel like I'm getting back to my routines. And it is a case of easing in today. Um, just like last week, where I'd been on a spa day and I've taken so much from that, taking some time for myself to completely switch off. Today, I've head off for annual leave after the stag do. Bit of good preparation there. <laughs> Didn't realize I'd booked it, but thankfully, I realized on Friday that I had. So after a really sort of enjoyable time in Brighton and enjoying Goodwood races, glorious Goodwood, which was absolutely amazing to be honest a real good experience would definitely advise anybody if they like going to the races to try that one out much better than i expected in all honesty and i also got to got time to spend with lots of great guys who wanted to be on the stag do who wanted to share this special occasion for me but what i kind of want to speak about today is the way kind of that build up and as Possibly um, build up to the stag do, looking forward to that. How I can use that to possibly sort of realign with some of the inconsistencies that I've, sh I've shown that have kind of been fussed upon me in the last couple of weeks. Perhaps in many ways, these big occasions can be a distraction. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the stag do. Wouldn't have changed it for the world. Went down well, must admit, last week. There's a little bit of trepidation beforehand and wondering what to expect and how it was going to go. But don't think it could have really gone any better. But it could also have been distracting me a little bit. Do you know, when we've got something to be excited about, when we're looking forward to things, do you know, do we occasionally take our eye off the ball? This week, really, really looking forward to the return of the football season. It creates more work for me, more content, which I love doing. But what I want to do on the back of the fact of, you now I've had the stag do, you know, I've had a couple of massive weeks in terms of doing different things. I want to really get back to my routines. Today, today has been a, an easy outing almost. I had lots of chance to, I actually had a lion, which is something I barely ever do. Just wandered around. I had one or two little errands to run. It's Kay's birthday tomorrow, so I had to pick up one or two things for that. Make sure we're ready to celebrate that properly. But it's just been a case of easing in. What I, am, what I am doing is getting out and getting in my activity. I touched on it right at the start, how important it is. Out here tonight, you'll see lots of people walking. You can just see them over there. Lots of people out for a run. And that's brilliant. That's inspiring and motivating because tomorrow I'll be back at trying to build those endorphins. I'll actually be out here again, 6 a.m. for Tuesday training. And again, just trying to sort of encourage, you know, inspire, motivate people to get out there and make the most of what they've got. Me personally, I live on the doorstep of all of this. It's a perfect place to do the things I love doing, walking, running, you know, trying to stay fit kind of um, but there's been a lot of things to distract me from that and again these big occasions are great but at a point over the last at a period over the last couple of weeks where things have been a bit inconsistent you know looking forward to one thing planning another doesn't help probably put a bit of pressure on myself to get it right quickly which is something I tend to do but I've really struggled with that and an example is Do Daily itself. Some of the episodes have been late. Some haven't gone 
as planned you know not been doing those part one vlogs or getting out for my walk but those things are so important to keep me sort of ticking over to keep me enjoying what i'm doing to keep me focused and like i say with a little with a change of itinerary in the last couple of weeks and it not quite falling into place as quick as i wanted but more coming at the end of the week which i knew was coming which was all part of the decision process you know it's important for me now after the stag do after a couple of big weekends to do something that's going to be a routine going forward yes football creates another big weekend you know an away game at newcastle the first premier league game for 23 years but that's going to be the way it is going forward what i'm saying is these one-off big things can sometimes just take your attention i'll reiterate i wouldn't have changed it for the world i loved it you know look forward to it eventually after having to plan it and organize it you know it was brilliant but for me now it's about getting back to the simple things that make me tick that make me happy one of those is getting out on a monday never miss a monday that is so important it's a it's become somewhat of a cliche of mine but it's something i make sure i do and then on a tuesday it's about the training we take that forward into a wednesday workout and then start reflecting as the week goes on i want to make a real effort with my do dailies because when i'm explaining things when i'm feeling explaining how well they've worked you know it's good for my mental health it's good for my own positivity and enthusiasm and whilst i'm trying to do this to support and encourage others you know i've always said the one person it definitely helps more than anyone is me you know because i can process it i can think about the way it's working the way it's not be realistic in the fact it don't, doesn't always go to plan we all experience our ups and downs and sort of knocks and things that distract us and we have to reevaluate, you know and think things through and decide make big decisions of how we're going to take it forward it's been a real big few weeks of that you know some of the things some of the decisions i've made didn't really want to make but got to do them for the best reasons i'm comfortable in that fact i'm comfortable in the knowledge that readjusting my schedule meaning i'm not doing one or two things which i've done for so long do you know <laughs> the biggest danger in life isn't it is doing something we've always done because we've always done it do you know you sometimes you have to just take that decision move forward keep doing what you believe in keep being positive keep being happy and content you know realize what doesn't make you happy and content you know and through all the good things through the inconsistencies you know sometimes it's those that show up the not so good stuff and that's a great way again isn't it to sort of try and improve on your output what you do your, pos your, your positivity your enthusiasm your excitement for things because all i'm trying to be here is just that one percent better you know it's not worked in many ways whether it be my training whether it be the way things have been sort of post covid it's not been a straightforward journey you know work life doesn't always go exactly to plan but as long as you keep trying nobody can really fault you can they? nobody can say anything that's gonna knock you off your perch that's where i find myself now in a place where it's really really hard for people to upset me and it's not always been like that as and when i wasn't feeling fantastic and i found myself reflecting a lot again i guess it's the stag do and the the enormity of the wedding which is approaching I had a conversation with Kay just last week around whilst i never thought this would kind of happen i almost want to settle down a bit when i say that i mean just from some of the big occasions where I kind of let myself go not and that's not a bad thing don't don't get me wrong i'm not not regretting anything but almost want to just settle things off find this routine level again one thing covid did do you know and, and the whole sort of period we we all had to endure there was it gave us great routine um it slowed things down a little bit for for me 
and I'm almost striving to get back to that point. That's why some of the bigger decisions had to be made in terms of what I do on certain days and how I go about it. You know, some of the groups where I encourage others. But now I can almost just realize that once everything slows down just that little bit, you know, I'll get back to all the things I need to do. The return of the football and the routine of having that, you know, again, it's so exciting, but it's something I really, really have to do. And on a one day, all it's about really, is getting out there and getting in some activity. Starting the week, sorry, got your cups all of a sudden. Starting the week in the right frame of mind, with some positivity, you know, thinking that it's gonna be a good one. Because if we think it's gonna be a good one, there's no reason it shouldn't be. And that's all I'm encouraging you guys to do. Be exactly the same. Just stay positive. Stay driven, stay determined, you know, stay on top of what needs doing next. If it's not going so well, it's just a case of taking a step back, having a look at things, re-evaluating, perhaps talking to a friend. You know, one of the things I really get out of this is the fact I can keep outwardly saying things. I can process it all, I can take it forward, and I can keep smiling, you know, because I feel like I'm on top of things and I'm doing it the right way. Whether it works out or it doesn't, we've got every opportunity just to readjust, you know, and that coming out of a weekend where I've had so much sort of nice time and laughs and enjoyment and silly things happening, you know, I can't really complain, can I? It's just a case of pushing forward, realizing that that's gone now, Again, I won't forget about it in Hawaii. Provided some great memories. I'll post up one or two of those pictures, you know, just to sort of show some of the spirit. But it's a case of, with other things, creating routine. Some of the things I've been struggling with routine to put back together. And it is really, really important to have it. When? We're not in a, the most fantastic place. Things can feel a little bit all over the place. When things are great, we don't even think about it. So all that inconsistency kind of comes from the fact that it's been there in my, he in my head, in my mind. You know, it's obviously irking me a little bit. Whilst it's not a massive, massive issue that's upsetting me or stressing me too much, it's obviously in my mind and it needs dealing with. And that's what, after having all these big occasions, that's what it's made me realise that I just want to get back to doing the things I do. And I touched on it very briefly, even the wedding and just slowing things down that little bit, doing things for me and Kay. Of course, that's what marriage is all about. I still do lots of things for others. I'll still do whatever I can to support, but I've also got to remember the part, all that plays in my life too, and the reasons I've done it. And I think the, the good weekend around good people, smart people, you know, understanding how people tick and work. And again, the importance of just being around positivity means I can look at that in a straightforward, with a straightforward mindset and realize that I've just got to get about all the things I love doing. Hopefully you get where I'm coming from. Hopefully you understand what I'm saying not always as concise as I want but if you've enjoyed the episode please give it a thumbs up and of course if you're new to the channel do subscribe I'm off to get some more rest one or two things to do today before setting about Tuesday training and a tough session at 6am in the morning I'll be hard at that encouraging you to get out there and get those endorphins flowing get the week really up and running but for now, hopefully it's going to be a good one. Hopefully you can make the most of it. And hopefully you come through it with a smile on your face. Until tomorrow, guys. Just doing it.